it was Johnny Carson who gave Bob Euchre the nickname Mr. Baseball. That, along with starring in one of the most memorable television commercials of all time, made him a national star. I mean, the whole idea of the Bob Euchre scene in the ballpark, that all started with those Miller Light commercials. These fans know I break light because it's less milk and it tastes great. Good things, huh? In the wrong shape, buddy. Come on. Oh, I was being crushed. Like beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. And that joke still carries uh, to today. I mean, I can't tell you the number of times I've been in major stadiums around the country. And you can still hear people talking about, well, I wonder who's in the Uber seats tonight. Big time bonus player, 
uh, when I signed with the Braves. Very modest uh, $3,000 bonus, which kind of aggravated my old man because he didn't have that kind of money to put out. And, uh, but the Braves took it. Uh, Milwaukee, uh, Philadelphia. Hey, congratulations to Philadelphia. Beautiful. Uh, matter of fact, Philadelphia is the only, the only place I ever had a fight with a fan. Uh, somebody from behind our dugout at Old County Max Stadium was, was really on me. And uh, finally, you know, you get enough of that stuff. And they started talking about my family. And you know, your reaction is to dive into the seats. And you know, I got a couple of good punches in. And the bad thing is it's going to be a court suit and a lawsuit. You're going to court. And I can remember uh, that day in court, uh, she was sitting there with her attorney. <laughs> Still pretty well marked up. I never, uh, I never made a lot of money in baseball. I think the most I ever made as a player, uh, maybe, uh, maybe twelve or thirteen thousand dollars. I think is the most. And seven of that came from selling other players' equipment. <laughs> if you wanted something, I'd get it for you. The price was right. I've been around baseball a long time, as so I said, uh, you know, you pick up tips when you know your your career is kind of be, is going to be, it's over, you know, you're, you're coming to the end of the line, you know, you're playing in games, and you, you look down at the third base coach for a sign, he turns his back on you, <laughs> tell you you're playing a night game, and you get to the ballpark and finally played that afternoon. <laughs> I remember the Braves told me that they were going to make me a coach after releasing me uh, in 1967, releasing me as a player that I would be, uh, I'd be coaching second base. Uh, <laughs> so again, I knew my, my time might be up, but uh, I've had a great time in baseball, a great time as a broadcaster. I don't think there's anything better for baseball than radio. Let me just mention the really, no, I mean, the audience, the audience doesn't know a thing until you, you tell them what's going on. Television, you can see everything. And you talked about how green the grass is. Uh, I, I look at how much of the grass can I smoke? Uh, I try anything once. Uh, but that's, that's, that's the love of baseball, and that's what the fan, the listener, they don't know anything until you tell them about it. And that's what makes radio baseball the best. It really is. I mean, people, you don't sit in your houses all day long during the summertime and, and watch a game on television. You're outside, you got a radio with you. You're driving around in the car, you got a radio with you. And that's, that's really what makes baseball so exciting for the fan. You have to love the game too, and I think I've, I've always been privileged because of the fact that I'm an ex-player. Uh, and I know what it's like to, to be in a clubhouse, to be down 10 games, and you've lost five in a row, and you're getting your brains beat out by the writers and the media. So I know what that's like, and it helps me as far as the broadcast go. Um, to, to have been a player, again, I was on a World's Championship team, in St. Louis in 1964, we beat the Yankees. And uh, I remember that. Uh, Pink Devine, who was the uh, general manager, thank you, of the St. Louis Cardinals, then uh, he said the Cardinals uh, wanted me to do him a favor uh, in an area where he thought I could really help the club as far as the series went. And I said, hey, you know, I'll be on whatever you want. He said, well, we'd like to, we'd like to inject you with hepatitis uh, so we can bring another player up on the roster. Pictures. Uh, I turned such a beautiful shade of yellow with that home white uniform. It was, uh, it was, it was really neat. Uh, of course, the next season 
you got that championship ring, that World Series ring, and players walking up to home plate and get your ring. And I remember they threw mine into the outfield, and uh, <laughs> I found it. I think in the fifth inning, I kept going out there and finally got it. That uh, that's something that a lot of players can't ever can't ever say. A lot of guys played in the big leagues a long time and never made you know never made it to a World Series. So uh, again, to to be here today um, and to uh, to have been able to play and again not make a lot of money. I was paid a tremendous amount of money by Rawlings, Rawlings Sporting Goods Company, to never be seen using their equipment, <laughs> uh, which was nice, really nice. My family's here. My son Bob, uh, little league player. I remember I went to a game one day. He had three errors, uh, kicked the ball in the ninth inning, and they lost the game. And I couldn't have been more proud. Uh, <laughs> just like I was. Yeah, they had parents throwing eggs and stuff at us. Remember that? <laughs> My kids had a saying when I came home from a game. Another day, another dollar, four bats, another collar. So, uh, but they're here, my family is here. Uh, our ownership group, Mr. Mark Antanasio, his wife, got one of the great owners in, in any sport. Thank you for coming, boss. A lot of our people from Milwaukee flew out here for this event. Thank you guys very much. And to uh, all of you, and to the uh, NAB, congratulations all of you on your awards. It's a beautiful thing. And when I hear the stations from Cincinnati and Philadelphia, those are places that I still go uh, to do the games, to broadcast. And it's, uh, I know what it means as a station to, uh, to pick up an award such as this. I know Steve Wexler is here from our uh, station in Milwaukee, WTMJ, um, and a lot of our Wisconsin stations throughout the state of Wisconsin that carry Brewers baseball. So again, thank you to all of you, and again, congratulations to all the winners, and uh, I'll leave you with this thought. I, I leave this thought with kids, young kids who maybe aren't going to be great athletes. If you, can't, if you can't play a sport, to hell with it. <laughs> That's what I said.